Hey guys, Harsh again and welcome to another episode of Shout Me Loud. Uh, if you are first time here, let me tell you Shout Me Loud is a blog which talks about blogging and we have been doing that for last six years. So welcome to the new episode and today I'll be reviewing one product, one awesome service called Buzzsumo. So I have mentioned about Buzzsumo multiple times in the past and today I want to show you exactly what Buzzsumo can do for you. So let's go ahead and see this review. All right, so I'm inside my Buzzsumo dashboard and I have a pro account. You can use a free account. They have limited features, but it still it will give you enough data to start with. So the very first thing that you can do with Buzzsumo is you can find the most shared content on any topic of your choice or you can find the most shared topic of any domain. So let me show you an example from Shout Me Loud and I'll take the other examples as well. So the first thing that you would like to do, let's say you have a competitor website and you want to see what kind of content people are sharing, what kind of content is working for that particular website. So you simply type the domain name and click on search. And here you have certain filters, like you can filter based on the time, you can filter based on the kind of articles. So that's very convenient. So I'll come back to that later on. Let me just quickly show you how it works. So these are the articles that got maximum share in past one year. And if you see this one, this one got like about 2000 Twitter share. Total number of share is 2770, which is a lot. I can quickly click on buffer and add it to my buffer for social sharing, which is again a very convenient feature. If you're using buffer, you must be knowing how to, you know, make advantage of that. Apart from that, what you can do, you can click on individual social icon and you can sort them based on number of share for that particular social network site. So here you can see these are the article that is performing really well from my blog, Facebook. Now the thing is, what can you do with this kind of data? Let's say if you're running a blog on technology and let, let me take an example from one of my favorite blog, makeuseof.com. So here I can see what kind of content is being shared from makeuseof.com. So let me just remove giveaways because I see a lot of giveaways at the top and that's something I'm not really interested in. So I still see giveaway because they mark them as articles. So that's not a problem. Anyways, uh, let me just sort it on the basis of Twitter share and let's go down. And here you, you can see all these things. Okay, forget the giveaway articles. All right, so now you see this one article which got over 400 plus share on Facebook, same number on Twitter. So, you know, this topic is a hot topic. And if you are blogging on the same niche, you have certain topic, certain proven topic that you can start writing upon. Your goal should be write something better than that what you have seen and you know promote the heck out of it. So that is one way you can start using this. Another great use of this tool is you can also see the backlink being generated to that particular post. Now you can simply, if you have written something better than that, you can go to those individual pages and drop an email to admin and let them know, hey, I have written something better than uh, what is written on that blog if you'd like to share it with your audience. This may help you to get a lot of genuine, good quality backlinks. Another useful feature of Buzzsumo is you can also check the number of backlinks to any domain, including your own domain, which makes it a SEO tool. Typically, Buzzsumo is a content marketing tool. That's how I use it and that's the right way to coin it. Another way, let's say if you talk about WordPress SEO, I simply search for WordPress SEO. I add the filter last one month and here I can see what are the content that is being shared on WordPress SEO topic. And you know, it's a good way to ensure that you blog about the topic that is proven. If you are a social media agency or if you are someone who is into the blogger outreach program, you can also use Buzzsumo to find the influencer on any topic, let's say content marketing, you click on that, click on search, and it will show you all the top influencer for that particular topic. It's amazing, brilliant, because when you're doing a blogger outreach program, you want to ensure that you first identify the right people, and this is where Buzzsumo would help you. So this is one great use. Now, another great use is you can find 
who are the people who talk about particular brand for example here is one of my favorite brand SEM Rush search for that and then I can get a list of all the people who have been mentioning SEM Rush a lot plus I can get a list of all their employees because they have mentioned that on their bio that's a good way to you know connect to a company in a better way you can connect to individual employee and I think that's a key to create a good relation with a company well this is how Bassumo works they have certain more features like content alerts which is more like Google alerts more refined more professional and overall this is what Bassumo can do for you what you can do with Bassumo is a lot of things so this is how Bassumo work and you can do a lot of things if you use it in the right way I would recommend go to Google search for a few more topic about Bassumo you would know how many bloggers and influencers are using it and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more similar updates this is harsh